Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a cool product from Magback. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra Magback case, and what this does is it adds a magnetic back to it, uh, making uh, things like MagSafe for iPhones compatible with the S22 Ultra. Now they do also offer for the S22 Plus. I'll have a link in the description below that is an affiliate link uh, for Magback, so any purchases you do make will support the channel. We also have the Magback Wallet. It's kind of Magback's answer to the Apple Wallet, although you could put an Apple Wallet on this case if you wanted to, since once you have the case, it'll make things MagSafe compatible. So let's dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I have, again, the uh, case and the wallet. We'll get to the wallet a little bit later here in the review. Uh, I do want to start with the case for the uh, S22 Ultra, and they do have a mag stick that comes with the case. I'll explain that in just a second. It's basically just a line of magnets that you can stick to anywhere, and then you can just put your phone there. So if you want to stick it to your dashboard or you want to stick it to the wall, uh, you can stick it pretty much anywhere. They do a great job at packaging. You can see this is really nice premium packaging. Uh, it is S Pen compatible, as you see on the back here. There are nine embedded magnets with two layer shielding. And what that means is that the shielding on the inside uh, blocks the magnetic from going towards the phone and interrupting the uh, actual S Pen. And we'll do an S Pen test on this as well. Now they have this in a couple different colors. There's a black, which I have, and then there's a blue on their website so far that I've seen. I don't know if they're gonna launch any other colors, but they've got some really nice cutouts for the cameras and not a lot of the manufacturers for cases are doing precise cutouts. They're doing that P-shaped cutout, which leaves a lot of space uh, in uh, to, for dust to get in and a lot of other things. So I like the fact that they did that. Now they give you some alcohol pads here, and this is for the mag stick, which is what this is. Uh, and you can clean down any surface with the alcohol pads, and then you can remove the 3M tape there and stick this anywhere. And this is a cool solution uh, to stick this somewhere that is not magnetic. Now there are uh, a square of magnets here, uh, three going across at the top, three going down on the right and the left, and three at the bottom. So you've got nine magnets there. And uh, it lines up in a square, which is really nice. Uh, and this, of course, uh, will uh, allow you to go in different orientations if you want to using the mag stick. Uh, so very, very cool. And the way that they set it up is very nice because uh, what you can do here then is use uh, you know Apple MagSafe products uh, with this as well. So that's uh, how you add this. Now you can see kind of the shielding here, and this is what uh, prevents the magnets uh, from going forward towards your phone uh, and blocking maybe some S Pen. I've seen cases that have magnets on them, especially for the tablets that block the S Pen usage, but we're gonna do a test on that real quickly as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the cutouts. Uh, on the bottom here, we do have a cutouts for the uh, charge port for your speaker, for your S Pen, uh, for your secondary uh, noise canceling mic on the top, some uh, nice uh, button covers here to keep things responsive, and there's even a lanyard uh, hole there. And I really, again, really do like the fact that these are individual cutouts for the camera lenses as well, instead of that uh, big P shape that leaves a lot of open space. So let's get our phone here. I've got my S22 Ultra, and I will put this into the case. It's a good fit. It's a very precise fit, uh, so that is a good thing. Uh, and you can see from the lip protection at the top and the bottom, we've got some very good lip protection here. The case overall is not uh, that much bigger than any of the other cases that I've used for this, so they kind of keep it in a fairly slim form factor. You can see the raised uh, edges there on each one of uh, the camera lenses. So that means if I set this down uh, on the back, I'm not gonna have to worry about bumping the camera lens. Uh, same thing with the front with the lip protection. It's got this matte black soft texture to it uh, that doesn't give you a lot of grip, but doesn't feel slippery at all. 
So the buttons are very responsive. No problems there. They're just covers. Uh, so I figured they would be nice and responsive. On the bottom, you've got nice precise cutouts for your main microphone, your charge port, uh, of course, your uh, speaker, and of course, the S Pen. Now the S Pen, we want to do a test. Uh, because there are magnets in the back, we want to make sure that that shielding is working. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to kind of go through and write all over, if I can actually hit this from behind the camera, uh, write all over the screen. And that way you can see that there's no uh, interruptions from the magnetic backing uh, for where you're going to be writing on the screen. Because obviously the main uh, draw or one of the main draws for the S22 Ultra is the fact that you're going to be using the S Pen. And a lot of times I see, like especially tablets that have a magnetic closures, uh, will get in the way of the S Pen. But as you can see, we can go up and down, left and right, through the entire screen and have no problems with the S Pen. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, MagBack wallet. It is um, MagSafe compatible, of course, uh, and but now I can use this on my S22 Ultra as well. I have it in uh, this black color, but they've got a few other colors and designs for you to check out at uh, MagBack. Again, I'll have that link in the description below. So let's take a look at the wallet. You can fit uh, a few different cards in here. Uh, I had th four cards in here for uh, the first start out to it and I could probably get up to five or six uh, as it opens up but you can see it's very easy it pretty much just lines right up and is on there uh, it's got a nice little loop on it for your finger as well it looks like that might get in the way of the camera but I did plenty of testing uh, never uh, got in the way of the camera so you don't have to worry about that as well the finger loop is really good and you can see these N52 magnets uh, are really good I'm shaking this really hard and it's not coming off the phone. So I feel pretty comfortable about using the finger loop uh, for one-handed use uh, and it being a fairly safe uh, for you to just uh, be able to carry this, hold it, and not worry about the phone flying off of the wallet itself. So it definitely passes that test. Another really cool thing is that the wallet itself can uh, be used as a stand uh, to uh, prop the phone up uh, to watch in landscape or in portrait. You can see that it works in landscape there, no problems. Uh, if we want to uh, use it in portrait, we can use the edge of the case, just kind of flip it out. And the N52 magnets are strong enough that will hold the phone up so you can uh, check it out in landscape or portrait. If you want to watch YouTube or movies uh, and not have to use your hands, you're good to go. Now looking at cards here, again, I've got about uh, four cards in here. Uh, and in the beginning, it's a little bit stiff, so I'll let that uh, kind of uh, sit in, uh, get a little loosened up a little bit more. But you can see you can easily push your cards out from the back. Uh, if, if you want to get uh, the card from the other side, you do have to take the wallet out. Uh, but they've got nice thumb holes here to be able to push these cards out. Uh, and it's easy access. I didn't find any problems. It's a little, again, stiff in the beginning, uh, but once it, once it opens up, you can probably fit, uh, you know, a good four to five cards in here uh, pretty easily. So overall, uh, I'm impressed with the wallet quality. And if you're not using the wallet, of course, you have a, ma a fully magnetic back. So anything magnetic, uh, your refrigerator, uh, anything you can see will sit up here. No problems with the magnets. I don't have any problems with that. I can do it in landscape or I can do it in portrait, uh, depending on how you want to uh, use it or view it at that time. And you can pretty much set it in any orientation you want. So if you're, say, in the kitchen and you're cooking and you want to uh, hook this up uh, to uh, your refrigerator, or if you want to put one of these mag sticks on on your uh, not your countertop but maybe your cabinets and then hang it at eye level you can totally do that and it works really really well okay so the last thing I want to talk about is wireless charging through the case uh, make sure that the magnets don't get in the way of wireless charging I have a wireless charging power bank here and I'm just gonna set this on down and uh, should charge right up no problems even through the magnetic back. Uh, so no problems there with wireless charging. Of course, you're going to have to take off uh, the wallet to uh, charge the phone, but uh, charging through this magnetic case, no problems whatsoever. Uh, so we are good to go. Uh, didn't have any problems here uh, with this uh, wireless charging through the mag back case for the S22 Ultra. 
So there you go. That's my review of the MagBack Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra case and MagBack uh, MagSafe compatible wallet. Uh, this is a great way to add uh, MagSafe accessories to your S22 Ultra, and they also have cases for the S22 Plus. Now, they don't currently have any for the S22 regular, uh, but maybe they'll add them in the future. We shall see. Uh, I'm impressed with this case. Uh, it passed all of my tests with the S Pen and wireless charging, uh, being able to add MagSafe accessories to this uh, S22 Ultra is an interesting thing and it kind of opens up a lot of nice accessories uh, to add to your S22 Ultra. And again, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below, and that will support the channel. I'll also have a, a code for 15% off, so you can use that as well. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have any questions or comments about the MagBag case for the S22 Ultra or the MagBag wallet, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.